What is eternal life? And when it comes to eternal life, most people, and sometimes even in the church, think about it wrongly. They think about eternal life in our, in our current fallen state and not in a glorified body that does not experience uh, the sadness, suffering, and death, or even the struggle against sin, right, which causes a lot of sadness in people's lives. Therefore, some people will even think to themselves, I do not want to live forever. And this is because they think about it wrongly. They don't think about eternal life in congruency with what Jesus Christ teaches and what the church teaches. For our Lord Jesus Christ, after his death, rose again from the crucifixion in a glorified body, not in his previous state where he experienced the fallenness of sadness, suffering, and death, but not sin. And Jesus Christ does this, or God sends the Son into the world to do this, to, to enter into all of our human experiences and to redeem them all by his divine power. But further, in today's gospel, our Lord teaches us that this is eternal life, to know the only true God and the one whom you sent, Jesus Christ. And this passage is a little more complex than simply reading the passage and then claiming you know the one true God. This is where theology and the church come into play. For what does this actually mean? And in the Catholic Church, the new covenant between God and man, where Christianity was taught primarily and solely for almost 1,500 years, it reveals that through Jesus Christ, we are brought into a relationship with the Father, and we also receive the Holy Spirit. Furthermore, we come into holy communion through divine worship and the reception of the Holy Eucharist, which is that real communion with the living God, where we are caught up in the knowledge of the only true God and a constant worshiping of Him. In this way, this relationship is constantly deepened throughout the years, like any true holy marriage between a man and a woman. We are called into the new eternal covenant. This is how we come to realize we belong to God and where our hearts find true rest while in this world. Also where the Holy Spirit teaches our hearts to see beyond the tangible things and the visible to where Christ is seated at the right hand of the Father. In this way, our whole way of life is one of feeding off of God, his word and his body, blood, soul, and divinity, who gives us a share in his life. That is why we are called to cherish our faith more than silver or gold. For scripture teaches clearly we cannot buy life without end, but we can receive it through this holy exchange by receiving holy communion worthily. We're outside a state of any mortal sin.